All right, so what I'm gonna show you here is how to add a hard clipping stage to anything. So here we have a Emerson Paramount. It's known as being a nice transparent overdrive, great for running into something else, like a, I don't know, another, either another overdrive pedal or um, a slightly dirty amp. Um, but we're gonna use this how it's not designed. Uh, we're actually going through this other thing that I built. So this is a true bypass looper. So we're going from a guitar into the Paramount, into this loop. This goes into this box here, this little, I can't even call it a box. And then from here we're going out and uh, into the amp. So I don't really have a good way of holding anything up, so we're gonna use this nice, wonderful roll of tape to get nice up and close to these LEDs. Let's refocus, shall we? Come on, there we go. All right, so yeah, let's turn this off first. And here's what we're starting with. So Paramount, nice and transparent overdrive-y sound. You hear some clean signal coming through. So what this is going to do when we turn this on is it's going to make it more, almost add like the parts like you'd have if it were a distortion pedal. And they light up in everything. So let's play that same riff again without that on. And you notice when this comes on, you lose a little bit of volume, but you're adding some distortion. So might not be the thing for everybody, but if gets you somewhere else then could be where you want to go the other thing you can do with this too is if you add this to the insert on a mixer you can kind of use it like a, a peaking stage so if you want to take a I don't know a cheapo mixing board that's got an insert on it let's see let's take this out of here drive everybody nuts as I'm moving this thing around so, what you could do is take a mixing board like this one, and where you have these inserts, so plug in the mic, and out of this insert, you could go through this same box, and say you've got a kick drum or something like that, this is going to kind of act as a hard limiter. It's going to compress it. And if you push it oh, too much, if you have the gain way too high on the mixer and those lights light up, it's going to go from just a, kind of a compression to actual distortion. However, that could be really useful. Say you're recording some really heavy, heavy drums and you want kind of like a, almost like an overdriven 2B tape machine sound or, or something like that. Or you got a vocalist that you want to add some distortion as you're taking, which... I don't say I think is always a good idea, but it can work. Um, yeah, you could use something really budget-minded like this, just a, a little inexpensive mixing board, whatever you've got, as long as it's got an insert on the mic preamp. And, uh, yeah, a little doohickey like this. All this is is two input jacks, a resistor, and two LEDs, and a crappy soldering job. And it's completely passive, needs no power whatsoever. That's part of the reason why you lose a little bit of volume, but you're adding some character. So that's your little trade-off. I'm sure if you messed around with the resistor value, you could control how much volume loss we're getting. So yeah, that's it. Hope somebody found it helpful.